And it shows you that life can be hugely successful, you know, without that hair. How's it going everyone and welcome to today's video. In this one, we're gonna take a look at the hair loss story of Andre Agassi. And like many of us, he lost his hair very young. So I wanna see how he dealt with it and what we all can learn from his hair loss story. Agassi rose to tennis stardom in the late 80s, early 90s. And he's been open and honest about you know his struggles during his career, talking a lot about how tennis wasn't actually you know his love. It was actually his father that kind of pushed him into the game and pushed him to do it. Tennis wasn't his own choice. And because of that, he did have a lot of problems during his career. In 1995, he rose to the world number one ranking and he had big, big advertising deal. And he was really the poster boy of tennis with his long mullet -y hair and his eccentric clothes and things like that. But it all seemed to get a bit much and he sank to 141 in the world rankings in 1997. And I think that time is kind of a little bit noteworthy, especially if we look at his sort of hair loss journey and his career. If you put them side by side, there seems to be a level of significance there. And some of those personal problems may even be down to the sort of image and focus on the importance of his image. Like I said, he had, you know, this crazy hair, this long mullet hair, and he used to sort of at the start wear this headband with it. And he became very, very popular with advertisers. And I want you to check out this clip here. So there you go from the man himself saying that image is everything. And we've spoken before about just how detrimental that frame of mind can be. So he's doing all these advertisements, you know, he's got this really iconic look, if you like. And it actually later turns out that he was in fact sporting somewhat of a wig a few years on after this mullet first appeared. The, uh, the other thing that we know from reading the book is that uh, this little number right here. What are we looking at here, Andre? We're looking at a lot of pain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, that that is uh, not my hair. Yeah, this the, the whole thing is a wig. It's not a wig. It's a it's a system. It's a weave system. And the night before the French Open final, I used the wrong conditioner and it started to come off. Oh my God! So so now uh, you got to play on clay. French Open is clay, yeah. and your work you can lose your hair. Uh, big time. I mean, I've never prayed for a result in my life, but yeah. I prayed that day for that wig to stay on. And I said to my brother. Is this gonna stay? You know, I mean, it's my first Grand Slam Finals, and he says, "I think it will. Just, just don't move around so, so much." <laughs> Crazy, a guy at that level of the game, and he's quite obviously worrying about something like his hair, right? He's grown up very much in the limelight, images everything, and now his hair's falling out and he has to sort of maintain this hair system. And I can't even begin to imagine the pressure of playing something like, you know, the, the French Open, but at the same time, really worrying about that image and worrying about that hair staying on, like he said. For this guy then, a hero for a lot of people. And it kind of shows you that pff, we're all human, right? We're all human, we've all got these worries. Even someone like this guy at the top of his game, and he's worrying about that hair. So it seems like that sort of hair system and the wig became a bit too much to maintain, and Agassi started to wear a lot of hats. Even when doing sort of TV appearances, interviews, of course when he was playing tennis, started to wear loads and loads of hats. And we can see here in one particular interview over in Austria, the interviewer really starts to push Agassi's buttons, kind of prying at this whole hair loss issue, and at some point even asks him to take his hat off, you know, in front of the audience and in front of the millions of people watching. Take a look. Wie gut Sie heute gelaunt sind. Sie sind gut aufgelegt. Jetzt kann ich Ihnen die Frage auch stellen. Sie haben in vergangenen Jahren immer mit einem Stirnband gespielt. Sie spielen jetzt mit einer Kappe. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Viele sagen, Sie sind ein eitler Mensch. Und es geht uns allen so, die Haare werden ein bisschen schütterer. Ist das der Grund für die Kappe? <laughs> Not yet, you know, but I Noch nicht. Older. Aber auch ich werde älter. Uh, but I think it's a trend that I would enjoy very much. Das ist einfach ein Trend, der mir Spaß gemacht hat. Ich habe da einmal die Haare im Pferdeschwanz getragen. Und nächsten Jahr werde ich wieder anders aussehen und vielleicht die Kappe nicht so tragen. Aber Sie zeigen uns heute nicht. 
den Endre? Sie hat für einen Augenblick ohne Kappe. Nein, das ist nicht gut. Ich bin nicht gut, das ist nicht gut. Nein, das wäre nicht okay. So, obviously, you see that he was kind of uncomfortable. He said, it's none of your business. And then he changed sort of, you know, what he was saying. And he didn't want to take his cap off, of course. You know, he's in front of all those people, obviously not feeling good because his hair's falling out, right? He's balding. Um, so, yeah, kind of rude of the interviewer there to ask him to just, oh, why don't you take your hat off? Obviously knew the situation. Interestingly there, he said, oh, you know, next year probably won't have this look. Next year I think it'll be different. I'll, I'll, I'll so he was obviously already thinking, you know, I'm going to have to let this hair go at some point. So not long after that interview and, you know, when he slipped down the rankings, he slipped down in 1997, like we said, to 141st. He started to make some changes, right? He decided to play tennis for himself. And he also made some changes in his appearance. He's now rocking this buzz cut and it seems like he's a bit more positive, a bit more comfortable with himself. Let's see what he has to say here. I think, you know, as you get older, you start, you know, kind of getting rid of a lot of the things that maybe uh, used to give you a hard time in the yeah. past. Yeah. Let me ask you about this new look. This is kind of a... Uh, yeah. kind of, it's, uh, you know, I just got tired of long hair, to be yeah. quite honest. Just get rid of it and I've had it long enough and time for a change. I figure it was a matter of time before it was all gone anyhow, so what difference does it make? Just... He obviously saw what was coming, the writing was on the wall. Let's just get it done. And he's rocking the buzz cut, and I think he looks good, right? Think looks, I think he looks good. And it was during this time that he won the Australian Open, rocking this new buzz cut, and obviously things went even better. He won a ton more Grand Slams with this buzz cut, and the hair getting gradually shorter when he progressed to that shaved head, no hair at all. Just rocking the boldness, rocking it proudly, and being successful. Seems he was done hiding from it, like he said that, you know, let's get rid of the caps, let's double down now on what I really want to do. And, you know, I think it's awesome to see him there, he's looking happier, and obviously looking a lot more comfortable. And something else that is awesome is he's now, you know, he's got a really good sort of attitude about it all. And you can see him here having a little joke with Federer, suggesting, hey, Federer, maybe you should cut that hair. You know, if you got a haircut, you wouldn't have to wear that thing, man. <laughs> So you can see the two guys there going at it, which I think is awesome, right? He's obviously got a good attitude about it. And I can imagine, right, back then when he was wearing the headband, wearing the wigs, worrying, oh, is this hair gonna stay on? You know, I mean, just look at the, look at the transition there. Of course, yeah, you know, other things going on in his life, it's, this isn't all about hair loss. But the two things, you know, they go together. And so I think it's really awesome to see him there, happy, able to make a joke about it. And it's just an interesting look at, you know, his sort of the transition over the years. So what can we learn from this video, right? Well, I wanted to just show guys out there that this hair loss thing, going bald, balding, can affect absolutely anyone out there. Even someone, you know, millionaire, successful guy at the very top of his game. And it just shows you, you know, how human it is and how vulnerable these people can be, even people like this, where, you know, they're feeling terrible about this hair loss thing, really uncomfortable about it. And so I think we can relate to that a lot. And so if there's anyone out there thinking, you know, oh, this is me, you know, don't forget this guy was losing his hair in his early 20s. You know, this guy's gonna be thinking out there, oh, you know, none of my, no one else is going through this. It just goes to show that there are so many guys, so many people from all walks of life who are gonna have to deal with this balding. And you see that for Agassi, you know, it took years. It took years for him to go through that transition of having the hair, the wigs, the hats, uh, the buzz cut, and eventually ending up with that nice shaved head. It took him a long time. And so for some guys, it's gonna take a long time to, to go through that. But again, he came to the same realization, hey, it's gonna fall out eventually, let's just get it done. You know, and for him, it was when his career hit rock bottom, he didn't have that appearance, you know, that famous saying he had there, image is everything, he didn't have that anymore, he was losing it. He lost his success with the tennis, he lost this appearance, and it took them for him to say, hey, let's just get rid of it, that's one of those insecurities gone, also, like we said, he was probably feeling insecure about the whole reason he was playing tennis. He wasn't playing tennis back then for himself. He got rid of all that stuff, kind of rebranded himself, and it shows you that life, 
can be hugely successful, you know, without that hair. Going bald does not need to ruin your life or cause you to be unsuccessful. You know, this guy went on to get married, have kids, back up to world number one, and he did it all without hair. So I thought it was a really interesting story, you know, kind of inspiring for some people out there to, to see. And it's all about this rebrand, right? Hair loss doesn't need to break you. Yes, you're gonna have to hit that rock bottom. You're gonna have to feel bad about it. And you are gonna worry about it. You're gonna go through that transition. And like I said, for some guys, it takes years. And for other guys, they decide, you know, they know what's gonna come and they can just get rid of it sooner rather than later. And they can work on this rebrand, work on building their success a lot sooner. And I think that's awesome. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to drop it a like and maybe I can make more videos like this. As always guys, I wanna thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.